Welcome back to another episode of Can I Beat the Poll Time Classic Edition. This has been requested in the comments quite a lot and today we're delivering with the 2018 poll app at Monaco. But first, a disclaimer. As you guys know, I've recently got this new rig and also I today have received a new second monitor. So between yesterday and today, setting everything up, troubleshooting, I've not been able to record career mode because it's a very long video to make and I'm using this as a bit of a test bench and also yesterday's video with the F1 2026 cars as a trial because they're shorter and easier to make for me to see if everything is working okay. Now right now, the camera is here which is new for me. I've now got the new monitor over here looking at all the audio recording and the video recording and just generally I'm trying to get the grips with everything so career mode will hopefully return tomorrow so in the meantime please enjoy this video now with that said let's get into today's episode 2018 daniel ricardo prime time prime red bull daniel he of course bagged the pole here and went on to win the race in what was his redemption arc after that can you know chaotic and controversial 2016 monaco race now the time to beat a one minute 10.816 so we're going to see if we can get anywhere near that here today. We have a very nice version of that Red Bull. I've tried to tune everything to spec. At the moment, the tyres are freezing cold. So that's going to be the first thing on the agenda. Daniel, of course, blitzing the whole time. And then, of course, the race itself. He managed to win having, you know, I think 150 less horsepower after losing um, part of the turbo, I believe, on the engine. Or just having engine trouble in general. So... You know, back in 2018, Red Bull were powered by a Renault modified power unit by a Tag Heuer. And, you know, reliability was definitely their biggest issue. Performance also wasn't great, but around Monaco, performance doesn't really become a factor with the power units. So, anyway, let's get into it. Let's see what we can do pace-wise, lap time-wise, and hopefully we can compete and beat that lap. Now, currently, we are in a car with default settings we are already on the soft tires so i will admit i haven't checked if it's the right compound of soft but you know what we'll take a chance i believe actually we've got hyper softs and you know super softs to go on so i think actually we are on the right compound so let's get into it first lap underway and i just want to try and see if i can have a decent banker not a lot of grip right now. Car feels pretty sluggish. Into Mirabeau. Now we've got a bit of tyre temp. The car's starting to respond a little bit. Through the Lowe's hairpin. Took quite a while to get the car turned through there. Doesn't feel a million miles away, but that felt horrible. The front end did not turn. Going to knock the brake bias back quite a bit here. Let's go down to 50. On the anchors, Nouvelle Chicane, little left right flick. And now into to back. Probably can carry a bit more speed than that. Flat out through swimming pool one. And then swimming pool two over the curbs, brush the walls. Downshift warning there, being a bit too aggressive with the downshifts as we head through La Rascas. And now Anthony Nogues, final corner, open the DRS, which I forgot to do at the start of the lap. And across the line we go. That's a 1.14.7, so we're give or take four seconds off. So let's go to work and change the setup. Time for attempt number two. Now, this is serious business. Ultra softs on the car or super softs. I don't even know, man. The rainbow compounds are so confusing. Anyway, purple tires. We have the pink ones left to go. We're going to run balanced high on the engine. We've also increased the wing a lot on the car. We've also halved the fuel. So let's see, also increase engine braking, how the car performs. This time using DRS down to turn one, aggressive over the first curb. Back end gets a little loose as we head uphill into Massinet. Hold it, stay tight. Probably got a bit too much engine braking on, I think. I'm scrubbing too much speed into Mirabeau. But this is where the engine braking is going to work quite nice for us. In these corners because you can just throw it in and let the car slow you down easy through there this is where we struggled last time we're going to get the nose in earlier into portier 
Oh, that's a bit nicer. I want to try and at least improve by two, two and a half seconds here. Into the Nouvelle Chicane. Good braking. Direction change, pretty decent. To back. Oh, bit loose there, back in. Letting go a little bit through swimming pool, nice and tidy. And now Laras Cast, give a bit of throttle on to not let the car lose too much speed and momentum. And there we go, DRS up to the line, and it's going to be exactly what I wanted and predicted two seconds on the nose. So that gives us a 112.6, so about two seconds off. 1.8. Let's get back to it. Here we go. Pink tires on the car. You guys remember these. The softest of the rainbow allocation. Before they simplified the tire compounds. We are going to run this in hot lap mode. So almost party mode as we uh, lock up there into the final corner. Right. Let's get to it then. I've made a few more tweaks to the car. Fuel, wing, tires. Let's see what we can try and do. Gonna carry a bit more speed through one, let the engine brake and do the work. That's a bit more like it. Now then, Massane Casino. Oh yeah, now we're starting to find some grip. A little bit of understeer there through Casino. We brushed the wall on the way out. Throw the car into Mirabeau, that was beautiful. Brushing the wall, bit of a lock up into the Lowe's hairpin. Having to put a bit of throttle on there, we scrubbed off a bit too much speed. Portier is the biggest struggle of the entire lap. Just can't get the car to get the nose in there at any point. Right then, Nouvelle. Good braking. Good direction change. Right to back. We lost the back end last time. This time we keep it under control. Downshift warning again there as we try and get aggressive. Brushing the wall on the way out of swimming pool. Raskas keeping the throttle on. Anthony Nogues also. DRS open up to the line. What is it going to be? 111.4. Okay. Well, that's a PB. Let's keep pushing. I feel like all we can really do now is trim down the fuel. Um, put a bit more wing on the car, maybe. We've got one more engine mode to go, so let's find out. So here we go. This is going to be pretty much it. Um, minimum fuel... You know, we're now going to run maximum engine mode as well. So let's see how it goes. Hot lap mode engaged. I've made some adjustments to the car as well. Maximum wing pretty much. Brake bars all the way to the rear. Let's see how this goes. Turn one looks pretty nice. We've got to try and find seven tenths of a second. A bit wide, a little bit wide. I'm just going to put us wide through here as well. So it's a bit of a scruffy one. Hit the wall. This is a scruffy lap. Come on. Let's try and pull it back in the second half. At least improve a little bit. Give ourselves a bit of a delta for a future attempt. Still down by two tenths from what I can tell on my dash. So we need a good second half of the lap here. Oh, that was excellent. That was really nice. Yeah, that was also really good. Now we're starting to find some time. Oi, back end getting loose over the curbs. Come on. Yep, yep. Really good second half of the lap. But we don't actually improve. Okay. I guess it's that time in the video where we're going to go into sweat mode. So next lap you'll see, we'll either be beating the lap or a bunch of mistakes and errors. Car feels pretty dialed in, so I'm not making many errors. I've just got to try and clean it up a little bit. That corner, man. I swear to God, Portier is just horrific. I've got to get the nose in early. Otherwise, we're not going to get the turn in. Ah, damn it. Front locking on 48 bias, the most rearward we can possibly go. However, that was a really committed lap, and it gets us just over a tenth away. Big, 
really, that was a really good lap. Scruffy, but really aggressive lap. It's right there. It's staring me in the face. I just need a clean lap. That was a lot better, the really clean lap. Just a few micro errors. There it is, there it is, four tenths, we'll take that. Bit of a scruffy lap, but we were super aggressive. We threw it into the back, we had a big snap and slide. Turn one also pretty aggressive. I thought we nailed this corner here, Massonet. We brushed the wall, it was so close. Casino was really good. Raskas final corner also, the final corner really close to the barrier, right on the money as well. So big risk paid off and we beat it by four tenths. So a successful return for the series. Now though, set up. Before then, replay. Now for this one, we have tires, of course, and we are on the Hypersoft. 17 front pressure, 19 on the rear because the rears are getting a bit hotter. Fuel, I set to three liters for 2.2 laps. Electronics, we have hot lap and motor, and then engine brake on 11 to kind of help the rotation and the car stop in those slower corners. Aero, I went for 26 maximum on the front and then the rears on 25. Alignment, I just knocked the camera in the toe a bit more into the negative to have a bit more aggressive, you know, tire temperature, tire performance. Dampers, I kept default. Brake bars on 40 which is the most rearward possible. And then also heave dampers on default suspension. Happy to go default. Ride height was pretty good. Had no issue with the suspension as well. Generally felt pretty decent. So yeah, no more changes. Everything is stock. So guys, there we go. That's basically it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That was actually quite a fun one. And now that I've got this rig, worked in pretty well. This felt a lot better than yesterday's video. I'm starting to get more comfortable and more confident and I think there's gonna be some really good videos on the way and I just hope it also improves my competitive pace. Anyway, down below you're gonna have links to the track and the car so go check those out. Hopefully you guys give it a shot. This is on Assetto Corsa on 98% track group. I pretty could have gone 97 to be fair to get a more accurate lap time but that 1% always makes a big difference. So I want to hear what you guys do lap time wise and what do you want to see next? You know, what track, car, combo, what classic pole lap 
stands out to you. I've got an entire playlist, so go check it out to not suggest something I've already done. So go watch that. But yeah, in the meantime, guys, I'd appreciate a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for more videos like this. And hopefully career mode should be back tomorrow. So fingers crossed for that one. Anyway, a big shout out to the members for supporting the channel, the videos and the comments, the likes, everything, guys. I really appreciate it. Also, check out the two videos on screen, guys, if you haven't seen them for more content like this. And yeah, guys, I'll see you soon. Take care and let's go back from me.